Hi, in today's video I'll explain how you can send parameters to a Power Apps app through the URL. Then I will show you how to insert your app into a SharePoint site. This will be a very simple app and so we'll stick to the basics. So let's start by insert a label here. Let's call it parameter one. Parameter one. And let's insert a text input. Okay, right in front. Let's copy them and paste here. And let's change this second one to parameter two. Okay, so now let's save our app. Let's name it parameters app. Let's go to save. Save, save to the cloud. Okay, it's saving our Power App. And now we, we go to, the, to our app list here. Let's hit refresh. So we can see our newly created app. There we go. So here we have our Power Apps app. Let's go to details, to the app details. And here we have this web link here. So this is the web link we use to insert our, our Power App into other sites. And if we copy it and paste into a new browser tab here, we can use our app directly here. Great. So how can we send parameters using this URL directly to our app? So this is very easy to use, to do. Uh, our app is not ready to receive it yet, but let me show you how to do it, and then we adjust the app. So interrogation mark, then we, we type the name of the, the parameter we, we want to send. Let's call it param1, then equal sign, and the value here let's make it abc and here we if we want to send multiple values we use the end symbol here and then again interrogation mark and then the parameter name let's make it param2 and now it's value one two three okay if we hit send it's not going to 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 give us an error but it's not going to do anything here either so let's adjust our app to receive those parameters okay let's head back to our app back to the studio and here let's make the default values of these text inputs to be our parameters so the default property we now we use the param function from power apps and now we type the parameter name so we we chose param1 we type it in our url for this first one and for the second one we named our parameters as our parameter as param2 okay so again, let's save our app and let's publish it. Okay, great. So all changes are saved and published. Now, if we head back to our app here and we, we try to access it again, now it should bring this value of ABC and show here in the first text input and grab this value of one, two, three and show here in the sec second text input. And there we go. Very easy to use, right? So let me show you now a use case of this feature here and how can we make flexible and powerful apps using, using it. So let's create a new screen. Let's just insert a label here called screen two for us to see that we are inside screen two. And in our app here, we have the on start property. Let's create here a, a condition. So if param parameter two equals let's say two the app will navigate its first command will be navigate to screen two so the app will uh, start in screen two basically so okay okay great and otherwise it will start from screen one because it's the default here it's on the top so let's hit save. Let's publish it. Okay. And now let's head back to our app here and let's first try with this the same value. So so here we go in the first screen and if we choose here we change it to two. There we go screen two. So basically using the URL you can choose where your app is going to start. Now let's quickly show you how to insert your app into a SharePoint site. So here we have a blank page in our SharePoint site here. And let's go to page, edit page. 
now we insert the web part here we choose the content editor okay now we add content and edit the source and we should uh, insert we we should we have to grab our url here copy let's paste it here but we have to insert it into an iframe into an iframe so let me copy and paste an iframe here so this is the code we use and we insert our url inside the source here the source property of the iframe okay so now let's hit okay and there we go our app is here ready to use and starting on screen two because i i passed the parameter screen two in the url of the source so let me just stop editing there we go a, a completely functional app here inside our sharepoint uh, page okay great i hope you you liked our video and see you next time bye bye